Silly Robbie's World is supported by viewers like you. For more information, go to sillyrobbie.com. Two, three. Silly Robbie, what are you doing? Lucky, not now. I'm trying to count the clouds. There's five clouds in the sky. You mean like there's five seconds until the show starts? Five seconds? Oh yeah, it's time for the show to start. We can jump over mountains or fly over trees, swim through the ocean, sing as loud as we please. Let's get together, all you boys and girls. Anything goes in Silly Robbie's world. Let's all go to Silly Robbie's world. Oh, wow, look! What a beautiful day outside! Oh, I'd love to go outside and play. I bet people are having so much fun out there. Hmm, what could I do on this beautiful sunny day? Hey, silly Robbie, what are you doing? You should be outside enjoying the amazing weather. I know, Lucky, it's so beautiful out there. You bet! On my way over, I saw lots of people outside enjoying the day. You should join. Well, I wouldn't even know where to get started, Lucky. There's just so many different ways you can enjoy a beautiful sunny day like today. You can say that again. There's so many different ways that we can enjoy. Silly Robbie, I didn't actually mean say it again. But, but that's what you said. Silly Robbie, never mind. What are we doing inside? Want to go out and enjoy the sun? Hmm, that sounds great, Lucky. Why don't we go to the park where... No, we did that yesterday. Hmm, I know. Why don't we call Eddie and we can... Oh, no, Eddie's away with his family. Hmm, I know. We can play a... Silly, Robbie. You're making me dizzy just listening to you. What does that mean? Well, it's just that you say you want to go outside. But when I ask you to go, you don't want to. I know, Lucky. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't make up my mind. There's just so many amazing things we could do on a beautiful day like today. I can't pick just one. Well, what do you think we should do? Good question. Do you have any ideas? Hmm. Well, I do know one thing for sure. We can't stay inside trying to decide what to do. If we do that all day, we'll miss out on the amazing weather. You're right, Lucky. Time is ticking. We need to think fast. Do you think you can help? It would be my pleasure, silly Robbie. Okay, awesome. Should we go to my workshop and see what we can come up with? You bet, let's go. Great, to my workshop. Okay, here we are, silly Robbie. Now, let's remember, time is ticking. Why don't you name all of the things that you would love to do today? Yeah! That's a great idea, Lucky. Okay, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Let's hear it, silly Robbie. Okay, here it goes. Lucky, today I would love to build a fort, make a tree house, play hockey, play croquet, go swimming in a pool, fly a kite, ride a bike, have a bonfire, watch a movie, do a puzzle, have a nap, make another fort, stack pillows on pillows on pillows like they're big skyscrapers, go outside and talk to the birds, help the birds sing, and finally, I would love to pretend that I'm a flying alligator and fly around from pond to pond to see if I can find any other alligators with wings. Oh, wow, you are right, silly Robbie. There are a lot of things that you would love to do. I know, Lucky. But how am I gonna decide? The beautiful weather will be gone before I can narrow all those things down to only 10. Well, that's a great point you just made, silly Robbie. What, a flying alligator? No, that you should pick a few out of the bunch that you listed. Yeah! That will make it easier to decide. That's a great point, Lucky. But how do we decide? I wouldn't even know where to start. Well, I think I have an idea. There are a few activities in there that probably wouldn't be great on a day like today. Like what? Like playing video games or doing a puzzle. I mean, would you want to do those things when it's so nice outside? That's a great point, Lucky. I can do that any day. 
even when it's raining. Exactly. Okay, let's scratch those off the list. Done. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay. Yeah! Let's make a list of all the things that we can do and a list of things that we can't do. Then we can eliminate some of the activities as we go. You probably can't play croquet or golf or hockey today as you don't have the equipment and by the time that you have it, the sun will be down. That's a great point, Lucky. Let's scratch those off the list. And you probably don't need to call Eddie. He has a dentist appointment today, remember? That's right. Let's scratch that one off too. Well, looks like we're getting closer, silly Robbie. Yeah! You're right, Lucky. And I like where this is going. Looks like we only have three activities left. But what about the flying alligators? Silly Robbie, no! Okay, we'll scratch that off the list too. Well, Lucky, it looks like we have one, two, three activities that we can do today. Let's take a look. Okay, we have riding a bike, we have flying a kite, and we have swimming in a pool. Oh, those sound like so much fun. Wow, do they ever, silly Robbie. Sounds like a great day. I can't wait. Are you coming with me? I can't today, silly Robbie. But why don't you meet me at my house later and tell me how it goes? Okay, Lucky, that sounds great. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some bike riding to do. Silly Robbie's World will be right back. Wow, this is so much fun. It's really nice to be able to ride my bike in the hot sun. <laughs> and I'm going pretty fast. And then when I get going down the hills, the breeze is so nice in my hair. <laughs> okay, just a little bit further. Wow, how amazing is this? What a perfect way to beat the heat. I'm gonna pretend that I'm at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Oh, look, there's an octopus. Oh, and look, there's a fish. <laughs> this is so much fun. I wish I could swim in a pool all day, but I still have to fly my kite. Whoa, this is so much fun. And look how high up in the sky my kite is. I hope I don't hit a bird or an airplane. Whoa, it must be 20,000 feet in the sky. <laughs> oh no, that's one giant gust of wind. Whoa. Silly Robbie, did you enjoy your day? It looks like you had so much fun. I did, Lucky. Riding my bike, swimming in a pool, and flying a kite was a perfect way to spend such a beautiful day like this. That's great, silly Robbie. Yeah! There are times in life where we want to do everything, and other times where we don't want to do anything. It's always important that we do what we want at the right times. So you mean that if I'm full of energy, I should take a nap? Silly Robbie, no, the opposite. If you have lots of energy, you want to do something that needs lots of energy, like exercise. And if you're tired, you should take a nap. See what I'm trying to say? I know, Lucky, you're right. I'm only joking. I never know with you, silly Robbie. I'll tell you what I'm not joking about, is how great of a friend you are, and how you're always there for me. Thank you, Lucky. You really helped me enjoy this beautiful day today. You're welcome, Silly Robbie. It makes me happy that you're happy. Hey, this kind of reminds me of a song. Do you want to hear it? I'd love to. Wow, what a beautiful day outside. The sun is out, the sky is blue, the air is warm. Why would we want to be inside? Let's get outside and let's play on this sunny day. Playing outside on a sunny day. Playing outside on a sunny day. Playing outside on a sunny day. Cause playing outside is A-OK. -okay. Playing outside is what? A-OK. -okay. Oh, oh, oh. There are so many fun things to do outside on a sunny day. 
One of my favorite things to do is to swim in a swimming pool. So let's close our eyes, use our imagination, and let's pretend we're going for a swim in a pool. Swimming in a pool on a sunny day. Swimming in a pool on a sunny day. Swimming in a pool on a sunny day. Swimming in a pool is A-OK. Swimming in a pool is what? A-OK. Swimming in a pool is so much fun. But I have another idea. When it's really nice out, one thing I love to do is to ride my bike. So let's use our imagination and pretend we're riding a bike on a sunny day. 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 Cause riding a bike is A-OK. Riding a bike is what? A-OK. <laughs> riding a bike is so much fun. Now let's pretend we rode our bikes all the way to the park. And when we got to the park, there was a beautiful warm breeze in the air. And what do we do when there's a warm breeze? We fly a kite. Flying a kite on a sunny day. Flying a kite on a sunny day. Flying a kite on a sunny day. Cause flying a kite is A-OK. Flying a kite is what? A-OK. Playing outside on a sunny day. Playing outside on a sunny day. Playing outside on a sunny day. Cause playing outside is A-OK. What is a farm? A farm is usually a big building that has lots of different animals in it, like such as goats and uh, donkeys and pigs. It's where all lots of animals live. A farm is where you keep animals so you can make milk and eggs and make food for like to give to other people or to just keep for your family. Farms, like, they help with grocery stores and, and others, like, for food and stuff. They have a whole bunch of animals, and they get to do a whole bunch of things, like they grow plants and stuff like that. A farm is a place with a red house thingy with a lot of hay, has a bunch of animals, and then there's usually a fence. A farm is, like, a hotel for animals. A farm is where, like, animals can get protected and they stay there in case they're, like, injured or something. Hi, everybody. Boy, oh boy, do I have something fun for you today. We're going to do something a little bit different. Can you guess what it is? Well, look at what I have in my hand. You guessed it, it's a storybook. And I'm gonna read you one of my favorite stories. It's about two best friends who go on a magical adventure. And in their travels, they run into a lot of bumps in the road and even meet, are you ready? A giant, oh boy, it's gonna be so fun. So get comfy, get a snack, settle in, because this is the tale of Silly Robbie and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, there were two friends, Silly Robbie and Lucky, who were working on a farm. Lucky was very small, but very smart. Silly Robbie was tall and strong, but sometimes he could be, well, silly. They spent every day working in the field until one day, Silly Robbie came home with exciting news. Lucky, Lucky, look at this. What, Silly Robbie? Well, I traded one of our horses for something spectacular. What? Silly Robbie, we did not discuss that. What did you trade it for? This better be good. Yeah! Well, I traded it for this magic popcorn. Apparently, it can make dragons turn into little puppies. You know, the kind that climb up and they cuddle. Oh, and give them little puppy treats. <laughs> he traded for magical beans. This didn't sit well with Lucky, as he was strictly told to trade the horse for food so they could keep their bellies full. Silly Robbie, magical beans? What are magical beans? You were supposed to trade for food. How are we gonna eat? 
Well, I don't know. I figured this would be better than food. I mean, they're magical. Or so the guy said. But they could probably do anything, you know, like, like turn into food. Oh. Silly Robbie, this isn't good. Beans is not enough food. We're gonna be so hungry. Way to go, Silly Robbie. Now we're gonna have to move to the city and get jobs. No! Throw those away. Come inside. But, but, but. <sighs> well, things aren't exactly going to plan for poor old Silly Robbie. In his mind, he was just trying to help, though Lucky had good reason to be upset. But that night, something happened when he threw those beans in the ground. The earth started shaking, there were sounds of rumbling in the fields, and when the sun came up, Silly Robbie went outside to begin his work day, and he saw a giant beanstalk. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's a giant beanstalk! Lucky! Silly Robbie, what's all this noise? Oh, wow! Silly Robbie, what's that? I don't know, Lucky. I just came out here to start my work for the day, and here it was. You're playing a trick on me, aren't you? No, I promise I'm not. I just came out here, and it was standing there. I mean, it must be a hundred feet tall. Like, I'm 6'4". Oh. Well, 5'9", but still. Well, it's great that we have a giant beanstalk, but I'm still hungry. And you traded our horse for magic beans, not food. Remember? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But what about... What about what, silly Robbie? What about if there's food at the top of the beanstalk? At the top? I mean, I guess there could be. That's where beans normally grow. But how are you going to get up there? I'll tell you how we're going to get up there. We're going to find out the old-fashioned way. I'm going to climb it. Climb it? You heard me. Climb it. All the way to the top. And guess what? What? You're coming with me. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Now, come on. Hop in. Don't go anywhere. Silly Robbie's world will be right back. Silly Robbie's World is supported by viewers like you. For more information, go to sillyrobbie.com. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No, keep climbing. Lucky, we're almost at the clouds and I still don't see the top of the beanstalk. This was your idea. Now keep climbing. This view is making me dizzy. I don't think I can climb any higher. Lucky, look. What? It's a castle. Wow. I mean, it's more like a shed. I think we should probably check it out. No, 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 keep climbing. What are you, chicken? Come on, Lucky, that's probably where all the food is. I have a bad feeling about this. Hello? Hello? I don't think there's anyone here. I don't think so either, Luck. Holy guacamole, look at the size of that apple. Wow, that's enormous. You were right, silly Robbie. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That we are in a cabin up in the sky and should probably be going home before something bad happens? No, that we should take that giant apple to our house and we can use the seeds to plant it and we can get our food back. Yeah! I don't think you should touch that apple, silly Robbie. It probably belongs to someone else. Come on, I'm going for it. Oh, no! Gee, fi fo Philly. I smell someone smart and someone kind of silly. Ah! What brings you here? Well, Mr. Scary Giant Man, it's just that we traded the horse in town and then we had no beans for food and then the giant beanstalk came and we started climbing and then we saw this castle and it, it was all her fault. Silly Robbie, don't listen to him, Mr. Giant. We are very sorry. 
Long story short, we were very hungry and magically had a beanstalk appear in our yard. We climbed it in search of food and ended up here. Silly Robbie saw your apple and thought it might be a good idea to take it for seeds to grow our own. Yeah! We're very sorry and we'll be out of your way really soon. Hey, not so fast. Goodbye, Lucky. Not so fast. I understand these things do happen. Uh, if you're hungry, you should take all the apples you need. Hey, take as many seeds as you need to grow all the apples you want. I wouldn't want you to be hungry. All you had to do was ask. You mean you're not going to eat us? Silly Robbie, what my friend is trying to say is thank you very much. Mr. Giant, that's so kind of you. <laughs> you're welcome. That's what life is all about, sharing. It makes me feel really happy to help people out when they need something. But hey, Lucky, can you do me one little favor? And what's that, Mr. Giant? Take good care of those apple trees and grow them into nice, delicious apples. And then, if someone else ever shows up that's hungry, be sure to share some of your apples with them. S -s 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 sounds like a p -p -p plan. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Not as scary as I thought, Giant Man. We promise. Thank you so much. Oh, and Lucky. Yes? Keep an eye on this guy. He's a little silly. <laughs> I will. Thanks again. Yeah! Lucky, Lucky, look. Wow, there are delicious apples everywhere. Now we'll never go hungry. Yep. And we all know who we can thank for that. The giant. He was so friendly and generous for sharing. No, me. I'm the one who got us the beans and decided to climb to the top of the beanstalk. <laughs> Silly Robbie. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That was very nice of the giant to share his food with us. But we have to make sure that we keep our promise to him that if we ever see any of our friends who are hungry, we're gonna share our food with them. You're right about that, silly Robbie. That was so sweet of him. Yeah, and you know what else would be sweet? What? If you made us an apple pie. Oh, silly Robbie. <laughs> and so ends the tale of Silly Robbie and the Beanstalk. Let it serve as a reminder to be generous, but also considerate. That's what life is all about. Caring and sharing. And also, never judge anyone based on what they look like. And that it's okay to be silly, but only just a little silly. Oh, but then again, oh, well, now I'm just boring you. Hope you enjoyed the story. The end. Boy, that was fun. But before we go, let's say what we always love to say. In Silly Robbie's world, we, we live healthy, we love, love ourselves, ourselves, and we, we treat each other with respect. respect. Until next time, keep it silly!